<coughs> so guys in today's video i will be demonstrating you the faraday's law of uh, electromagnetic induction in fact the second law of uh, electromagnetic induction uh, which actually also for which frames uh, which makes the working principle of uh, transformer right we will be showing you the mutual induction between the two coils uh, for that we will make a small setup so for that we will require two coils so i am using these two coils you can see the two coils in my hand they are marked uh, uh, say the coil number 11 and coil number 11 which actually uh, uh, shows me that the number of turns in this coil and the number of turns in this coil are same right and these are the end start and end terminal start and end terminal of this, these two coils so for that what i will do i will energize any of the any one of the coil by this ac source by some uh, voltage which we will be monitoring using this voltmeter so let's start the experiment so you can see you can see i'm energizing this by a phase and a neutral depending upon the amount of voltage i'll be fixing by using this regulator i'll be energizing this coil you can see i will be energizing this coil by this ac source i will be connecting phase at one terminal and neutral at other terminal now you can see i will be turning on this mcb and for monitoring this voltage by which i am energizing this winding i will be connecting a voltmeter across this so you can see right now the magnitude of voltage is 4 volts uh, let, let me increase it to 5 volts you can see the voltage is increasing so it has reached say almost 5.32 volts right now you can see in my hand i am having the coil another coil it's having number of turns uh, the same as uh, this coil so what i will do first i will connect another voltmeter across this coil and see the amount of voltage induced in this coil depending upon the amount of flux linkage you can see i'm exciting this coil right in between uh, right now the dielectric medium which i am using is here and you can see air gap between these two coils is very large and you can see the amount of voltage induced in this coil which is actually electrically isolated from this coil is very small 0.35 volts you can see as i am increasing i am sorry i am decreasing the distance between the two coils you can see the amount of voltage induced in the secondary coil will increase and you can see i am decreasing the distance you can see the voltage is increasing you can see the voltage is increasing you can see the voltage is increasing right now if i am if i am overlapping these two coils you can see now the flux uh, you, uh, you can see the flux linking with this secondary coil will be now increasing you can see accordingly the rate of change of flux is increasing you can see the induced voltage in this secondary coil has right now reached to 1.57 volts corresponding to this 5.3 volts but you can see the number of turns in these two coils are the same exactly if i am using an iron core which will fill this air gap right so the coupling will be efficient and you can see that the voltage induced in the secondary coil will increase so for that what i will do i have these iron clips in my bath in my hand so what i will do i will try to fill this air gap by these iron bars you can see you can see the voltage without this iron bar was initially 1.56 volts as i am filling this air gap you can see the permeability of this iron material is higher as compared to the air you can see the voltage has reached 3.57 volts as as i am going to fill up as i am going to fill up you can see the voltage is increasing corresponding to this in constant input voltage 5.6 volts so you can see i am filling this air gap now the voltage is 4 volts i am filling this you can see the voltage is increasing so what actually is happening the flux linking with the coil secondary which was initially passed through air because of less permeability of the air that flux was getting leaked out and was not linking with the secondary coil as a result of which the coil induced voltage in the secondary winding was less but as i am using now this core and filling this air gap you can see the amount of voltage induced in the coil has increased right so this was all about how we can demonstrate the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction you can see the mutual induction between the two coils which actually upon which the work is 
what was the base for, uh, working principle of a transformer right this way you can design your own transformer right and then this way you can demonstrate the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction thank you this was all about today's video thank you